Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Let's just continue right where we left off. I think we're about to go do this mission. Now, I don't know if I saved, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it anyway. Why do you hesitate? You must go at once while Annie Sama is risking all to distract her. Let's go in. You know, I don't think we got anything to wait for here. Oh, so we actually have to go through like a dungeon, so we can't- we don't just like go straight into the fight. Okay. <clears throat> Fair enough. Oh, also, if you guys noticed, new setup. I'm finally back in- uh, I keep looking this way, because I'm looking here. I'm finally back in my normal desk area, so that's nice. And I have kept the improvements, like the silence. Just as Dunzabro said, it's obviously abandoned, but you can see traces from when the aqueduct was still in use. Well, what's this here? It's a kunai, rusted and useless now, though. And look at this: clothing, makeup, wigs. Now I see. The Black Blades used this passage when they infiltrated Heart's Child. I've never met these Black Blades, but they must have been a formidable lot. What makes you say that? Can't you feel it? The gaze of monsters in the shadows, watching our every move. I feel it too. On your guard, everyone. Okay, so... Monsters in here. Fair enough. Let's take a look where we need to go here. Let's grab this chest super quickly first. Okay, an Arctic Wind, not crazy useful. But it is something. A well, level 24 to 28, and we are not 24. We're actually under leveled for this. That's surprising that we're under leveled. Okay, so we have to go back here. I want to go to the... So keep that in mind. But we'll try to, you know, we shouldn't... We're not far from 24, so we should be able to just, like, do a couple here and be completely okay. Okay, so we got reptiles. Okay, what would be good against these guys? Um... Okay, so it's not fire, it doesn't look like. We'll see if it's maybe thunder. Okay, these guys... Okay. So I'm not going to do that extra battle, but... Okay, so we're apparently under-leveled, but clearly not that under-leveled, because that fight was not hard at all. So. Okay, fair enough. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, the other way was just to a single chest, so you know what? Um, I'm just gonna go back. Ooh, that's a living armor. It can that only take fire damage? Or, I mean, uh, magic damage? Because it looks like it... Okay, well, all of my damage is going towards that, even though I can't even hit it with that. Okay, lightning seems to be a bit more effective here. Okay, please don't... Okay. That sucked a little bit. Okay. We need to watch out for those living armors. If the living the, the living armor is always going to be in the first character slot of these fights. So if I, as long as I get the tramples to go on the second character at all times, then we shouldn't have any more problems. Okay, that's a good amount of peak. So that is not bad at all. I'll definitely take that. And then we'll have to come back for that. Okay. Okay, well we could probably keep the auto for this one here. Yeah, this one's fine. But also, it looks like maybe I should switch Hughes to Lightning. Okay, can you not do that? Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to redo any of these battles just because I'm kind of low leveled. And I could get my—I am, you know—I could get myself in a pickle if I get one of those living armors again. Let's go down here. Grab this chest, and then we want to go back and grab that other chest all the way down here. And in the meanwhile, we get some fights to get caught up. See here, which sucks a little bit. So we'll have to do something about that. Okay. Um, and Nupu Mushroom. Probably not worth running all the way here, but it is what it is. Just got to catch up on those levels, I guess. What about over here? Is there anything on this end? 
Enemies feeling brave, that's fine. Yeah, I like it when they charm Tiz, because Tiz usually doesn't cause much trouble if... Okay, why do they get to attack so early? Oh, okay, and you is out of MP already. Fair enough. And we're still a little bit far away from 24, which is a little sad. I always, This dungeon, I've chose the wrong way over and over again, which is slightly disappointing. We, oh, we literally don't even have any ethers. Oh, no. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to make do with what we got here. Okay, so up there, you know what I'm going to do, guys? Let's go ahead and turn the encounter rate off. Let's go ahead and explore this dungeon. And uh, once I'm done exploring the actual dungeon itself, um, we'll then, I'll come back and grind off camera. But I just want to explore this dungeon without being hassled by all these enemies, especially since we're underleveled a little bit. So let's just explore the place. And then, like I said, I won't bore you guys with the actual... Um, leveling portion of this dungeon. Let's go this way. Seems there should be another chest here. Yeah, none of this stuff is particularly useful. So I'm probably a little just wasting my time running around here, but that's alright. Okay, now let's go back super quickly because there was one other portion that I wanted to check out in the other portion. So up there is just the summon. That's kind of good that we saw that from this. So we're not going to actually go up in this another one because I know what it is. It's the summon. Okay, so if we go down here, go up here, go up here, go down here. Oh. Okay, never mind. There is actually nothing down there. Okay. Uh, can I... I can grab this from here though, right? Yep, Phoenix down. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, and then what I'll end up doing is grinding by the save station. Because there I'll be able to use the, you know, the camp, the camps to re refill my MP. And so I'll be able to level up pretty quickly. A question, do I... Okay, so I do come this way. Okay, and we just go over that pipe. That's where we need to go in. Okay. Alright guys, so here's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, we're at like 10 minutes of recording. I'm going to sit here and I am going to uh, start training a little bit. I'll probably get to like what I don't know 25 or something like that it's 150 peak and it's a little bit more expensive now but yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit here. okay guys so a little while later I'm sitting here at everyone at level 29 I've got 30,000 peak uh, I don't think I there's anything crazy to change as far as their abilities I don't think anyone's learned anything new yeah, it doesn't look like any um, I put staff lore on Tiz here, but that's about the only thing new, and I already put it on like a couple fights ago, so I think we're good. Um, as far as our equipment, I think when we were fighting, we kept getting these plate mails. So these lower our magic attack and magic defense, but they increase our. Hmm. Would that be any better for someone like this? But I feel like that downside is not worth it. So I think we're good. I already saved, so let's just go ahead and uh, move forward here. I think we are good to keep moving on. You're a tough customer, all right. Let's see how you handle a double dose. Two swords for two bullets. Not bad. Not bad at all. I hope you've got a third arm somewhere. What? Anisama, look out! Yoko. Ah! Three shots is quite a handful, huh? Let's see what you can do with four! <sighs> Close your eyes and say goodnight, Danny boy! Hold it right there! Alright! We've closed ground on her! Good luck getting a shot off now! Huh! What? You think just cause we're up close and personal you got me by the short hairs already? Well, yeah... Why don't you take a closer look at my little friend? This ain't your average pig sticker, Pally. I call it a gun cleaver. In other words, your plans moot, you lousy youths. What in the... My asterisk is the Hawkeye. Close range or long, Amy's got your number. Now who's ready for a bruising? 
Let's go, bro. Amy Mitchell, the silver sniper, holder of the Hawkeye Asterisk. And when I'm through with you, you're gonna have more holes than a bagel shop. Okay, bud. Let's go ahead and, uh, ooh, we got all of these to do. Just do the piercing bolt for now. And then, I don't know what to hit her with, but I guess, uh, Blizzard up would probably do good. So let's just do four of those. Um, let's go ahead and hit her with four tramples. I know I'm going a little on the, actually, hold on, before we do those tramples, let's go ahead and hit her with, um, a moon shadow. And then we're going to go ahead and hit her with her tramples. With the deal, let's just go ahead and default. And with Tiz, let's go ahead and default. Here goes nothing. So, okay, so... Ooh, that sucks. She can pierce her defaults now. Okay, we got a thousand good little critical right there, which is nice. Okay, we're hitting... Each of those tramples is let's hitting pretty good here. Got. But now with Magnolia and you, we gave buffs to everyone else here. Um, I guess if she can pierce default, I guess it doesn't matter who she hits. But... That is going to be a little annoying. So let's just go ahead and um, let's default again. And I guess mm, we can do a we can do the Lux in a little bit here. Okay, that hurts a little bit of everyone. Let's go plus some moves here. Let's pull up our speed a little bit and then lower it from the encounter. Okay, so how about we do... No, we can do... Let's just do two. Do the Petal Swirl. Then we can do the Nothing Ventured. And with Tiz, let's go ahead and just do... Let's just do the Rejuvenation for now. I think that'll be good. Oh, you've got some chutzpah, I'll give you that. Not like the wimps I'm used to fighting. But I'm warning you, you ain't seen nothing yet. All right, bud. Cheer me on, will you, darling? You! Uh, uh yes... Cheer me on too, won't you? I, uh, um... Quit babbling like a freaking baby and just cheer the girl on, will ya? Yeah, you! Uh, uh, Magnolia, Magnolia, she is the best. She can get us out of this mess. <laughs> Balfay, that got my blood pumping. Thank you, you. Now that's a good boy. Let's do a little bit of nothing ventured and a petal swirl. So now our speed should be up, our attack should be up. We should be in a pretty good position here in a minute. And it'll do a good amount of damage too. That pierce default's a little bit annoying because that means defaulting almost means nothing, but... Alright, let's just rejuvenate and call it a day, honestly. Okay. Um, let's just do two more defaults here. That sucks a little bit there. That's alright. Let's go ahead. Default, default, default. And let's do two heals. What is a blessing? Oh, that's the... Okay. Go ahead and heal on everyone here. Okay, that heal is a little better now. Okay, let's go ahead and do some more magic here. So let's do some Fieras. With Magnolia's default, with Adia, we can finally do something fun. Let's go ahead and just do some tramples here. And with his, let's bring out another heal. Yeah, it doesn't do that much compared to the, my physical attacks, actually. Bring that down a little bit. Okay, but we got our... Okay, ooh. Wish I heal would have came before that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just default here. Let's just do that. Heal. Maybe I should have just done some nothing ventured, but... Mm, let's do a cure on everyone. You know, let's just do um, a nothing ventured. Nothing ventured. Well, let's pull out two heals for now. Okay. Is that, so is she gonna get countered twice here? That's okay. That is the case. Okay, well then I'm actually gonna keep doing that because that's gonna do a lot of damage to her over time. Let's do a nothing ventured, nothing ventured, and another small heal. Yeah, if she if she keeps doing her little attack on everyone, that's gonna hurt her quite a bit. 
keep doing that. Let's just keep doing the exact same thing, except that heal needs to go on everyone here. Well, I need her to do her move here. Yeah, she does exactly what she I don't want her to do. Okay. I need her to do her mass attack. Okay, she didn't do it again. That's okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do then. We're just gonna keep attacking like normal because she seems to all of a sudden not want to hit us very well. Let's go ahead and pull out a few more tramples. And then, you know what? The last one will do a nothing ventured here. Let's do the same thing here. Let's do trample, trample, trample. Along with one nothing ventured at the end. And one heal. Okay, that heal comes in a little too early, but... Okay, that's profit right there, because she's going to get hit twice. And she's going to get hit by all the tramples. So that was really good right there, actually. And the wind seems to be hitting for 400, which is not bad. Oop, I'm out of MP. Oops, okay. Well, that sucks. She should be hopefully pretty near dead, though. Scored in default. I'm gonna hope she's nearly dead. Let's pull out some more Nothing Ventureds. And let's just pull out a heal. Let's hope she does her thingy. Oh, she was at minus one, lol. Okay. Well, that sucks a little bit. Alright, well, let's just keep just trying to outheal it, I guess. Maverick. Okay. Didn't do too much there. Another heal. Okay. Yeah, I still have nothing with you, so that kind of sucks a little bit. Um... Let's just do a nothing ventured. Then we have to do a couple heals here. I accidentally put that heal on a person, so that's a little sucky, but it is what it is. Okay, let's do a nothing ventured, nothing ventured. Let's do heals on everybody here. There we go. And hopefully she'll hit that mass attack again. Okay, no, but I... Man, she's not hitting the right people either, which is frustrating. Right, come on, I need you to hit the right person here. Okay, that's good. Now she's gonna get countered. Okay, same thing. Oh, actually, with you, let's go ahead and use a high potion on Tiz, and then we'll do the same thing with the Nushing Venture here. Okay, make sure Tiz doesn't die in the process. And we can do a heal. Right, come on, do do your move. Do your move. Maverick, okay. Always hits the wrong person, though. Let's do a couple more heals. Actually, where'd that heal go there? Okay, that should be good enough. Everyone healed up. You was a little low, but... Condor, okay, again, not what I want to see here. Okay, let's just do a trample then. She's got to be close to dead. Watch her do the one attack right here. Maverick, okay, she didn't do it. Okay, you was, or you was almost dead, so let's go ahead and just... Let's do high potion on himself. Trample, trample. We did it. They got me. They freaking got me. I'm sorry, darling. I blew it. Just like me to disappoint you. Oh, darling. I'm going far away now. But my heart is with you. Forever and ever. Okay, so we got that Hawkeye Asterisk. I wonder if we're going to use this. So what does this actually do? Is my question. Attack. Power of Elements. Okay. That's interesting. Shamanism. Okay, so we can, we, we'll have to buy a Firearm if we want to use that class. Kyoko, are you alright? 
Oh, the pain. The unbearable, intolerable pain. Minister you, all things must pass. And it seems our time has come. While our time together was but a fleeting moment, you served us true. We shall remember you. Always. Hyoko! <laughs> Pay no mind to my sister's theatrics. Her wound is little more than a scratch. A nice hot bath, and she will be fine. A bath? The hot springs in Yunohana are known for their many and myriad healing properties. A good bath, and Yoko will be back to her spirited self in no time. I could use a bath myself. That settles it. Off to Yunohana we go. Fair enough. Let's do it. Okay, let's give it a little quick. Ooh. Yes. Let's do one of these. We haven't seen these in a little while. Next stop. Unahana, land of hot springs. You seem awfully excited. What's the deal? I just love visiting new lands. I can't wait to see what awaits us. Every nation in Luxendark is so unique, you know? No place is like any other. Eternia is cold and covered in snow. Harina is blisteringly hot and dry. It's not like that on the moon? I'm afraid not. Everywhere you go, it looks the same. Feels the same. Huh, that's hard to imagine. That's why I love visiting new places here in Luxendark. Which reminds me, there's something that particularly caught my interest. Alarmingly so. Alarming? That sounds ominous. Cuisine regionale. Local cuisine. Uh, I don't get it. What's so alarming? Each place we go has its own unique dishes, and everyone I've tried has been unbearably delicious. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. How did the people of Luxembourg come up with so many ingredients and methods and styles? On the moon, it would be unimaginable. Well, location plays a big role. Like if you're close to the sea, or if you live in a dry place, or in the mountains. Then there are differences in religion and culture, too. Even when people from different places use the same ingredients, they end up making something that tastes completely different. Some cultures have no problem eating food that spoils quickly, while others have taboos against it. Some countries use lots of spices and pickled vegetables, but in other places, religion dictates that you can only eat fresh food. So it really is different everywhere. So do you see my problem? I cannot rest until I've tried every dish! Huh. This adventure might take longer than we thought. It was in Aizen that I realized what I had to do. The stark landscapes there remind me of the moon, you see. Really? Aizen looks like the moon? Hmm, a little bit. Anyway, I remember wondering what sort of food they would serve in town. I was salivating at the prospect. That's when I realized I was in love with this world's food and simply had to sample it all. Well, you sold me. Let's head for Yunahana. If Magnolia loves food that much, who are we to deny her? Not you, idiot. That's for sure. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to end the episode here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment, as well as the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.